Hello there, my name is Doug Hills, and I'd like to welcome you to Clip Studio Paint 103. In the first two courses, I covered the essential tools and options needed to get started in Clip Studio Paint. Now, it's time to dive in a bit deeper and learn about the additional options that Clip Studio Paint provides to help you enhance your work. As we go through the course, I'll explain how you can download and use Clip Studio Paint's materials, as well as learn how to create and register your own, how you can color correct your work using the various tonal correction options and the gradient map function, how you can auto color your work, how you can use layer masks and selection layers, how you can tweak your work using Clip Studio Paint's filters, how to use 3D figures to help plan out a pose or a scene, and finally, how you can use vector layers to not only create your art, but easily edit them as well. I have a feeling you're gonna find these features really interesting. So, let's dive in.